So several people have suggested that practice and preparation are really key to stellar presentations at the NCFR annual conference. So I'd like just to open it up to the pre to panel presenters and for their thoughts on, on what they think about this idea. This is Judy, and when, as I mentioned with workshops, it's impossible to know exactly how it's going to go and what people are going to say. But it really is important to be prepared with your slides, with your handouts, and have an idea of how long you're going to spend on each activity so that you can move on and not miss your final activity. This is Suzanne, and I would say that preparation is also a key for a roundtable. You want to be sure that you have your handouts ready, that you have questions prepared, um, and that you practice your introduction so that you are certain that it's not going to take you more than five or ten minutes. So preparation and practice are really important for every format that we have at NCFR. Jeff, would you like to reiterate what you said about papers? Yeah, um, it's just really important to have um, your your paper done and really your slides done as you come to the NCFR conference. This is not something to leave um, to the last minute, um, the night before, and just know what your you know what your presentation is going to be. You don't have to have it all written out, you know, word for word. In fact, that's probably not a good idea. Um, but to have practiced it enough that you're you're smoothing your transitions, you know each part of your presentation, and especially that you know that it is um, within the time limits that you've been given by whoever is the moderator for your session, because it's just really it's just kind of rude to take more time um, than you have, because then you're taking away um, time from uh, you know from the other presenters. Karen, I, I'd like you to just comment a, mi a bit on posters because the, certainly practice. Um, you talked about preparation of the of the poster itself, but practice might look a little different for someone who is doing uh, that format. Could you talk a little bit about how someone might practice responding to questions or um, answering things that people challenge them on their research? Absolutely. I think that with a poster session, because it is not an oral presentation, it may seem as though there is no advanced preparation for those conversations. But I think the point you just made, Kathy, is that you have to be ready to talk about your work. Um, imagine what, what questions people might ask you. Uh, be ready to describe your, your work and, and what it is you are presenting in the poster. There may be people who want to know more depth or some background or how you did particular things. And you know, talking to other people about your project before you go to the conference to do a poster presentation would be an excellent way to, to be more prepared for that verbal interaction you'll have as well. I think I've also heard um, in, that, in, the, in that spirit that some uh, departments at universities, especially for students who are presenting and giving posters for the first time, that they actually set their posters up at the university and they walk by each other's and have that opportunity to practice the questions that might come up. So given that, you know, what Jeff was saying about having things done and ready to go earlier, that would allow that kind of an interaction to happen before uh, you get to the conference and that might put the presenter at more ease about having some questions come at that for which they really, um, that could be true of all kinds of sessions for which they might not have thought. Uh, about so, um, any any others? Any other comments or, or ideas? This is Jeff, um, and I have a comment about the po <coughs> about the poster session. Um, having done a few of them, um, one thing that people will often do is they'll come up and say, "Walk me through your poster," or "Tell me more about your research." Just kind of a very vague uh, question. And if you have a two to three minute kind of elevator speech, if you will, about your work, the importance of it, what you did and what you found, um, that can be really helpful as well. That's excellent advice. 